Hey, I'm uh, Nate Anaconi, and I'm here to talk about sentiment analysis. Um, just a brief overview of what we'll be talking about. Um, just definition, what it is, use cases. Um, just be going over the algorithm process itself. Um, as you imagine, there might be different ways of implementing it, um, but today we'll talk about um, the node module sentiment. Um, and um, these two steps will kind of be like interspersed. So, um, so what is it? Um, it's a technique for computationally determining the emotional valence of arbitrary blocks of text. Valence is just a word from psychology. Um, it basically means whether something's positive, negative, happy, or bad, or happy or sad, what have you. So emphasis on arbitrary, you can do it for basically any text on the internet, uh, tweets, blog posts, product reviews, you name it. Um, so briefly, some uses. Um, marketing, this is probably one of the more prominent uses. Um, generally, you'll want to know how your product is received by the um, public and you aren't going to read through you know a million texts and tell whether or not they're all you know happy or sad with your product um, bias identification so if you can imagine having like a news app that might filter um, between different blocks of text to see if whether or not it's news or not news. You would ex expect a news story to generally have a, a, a score, a valence score around zero, because um, very biased words will have typically very high or low um, valence. Um, and flame detection. Um, slurs, insult words, swears, typically have a very um, high, or I guess I'd say low, uh, valence score. So um, you can kind of easily flag sometimes when you're dealing with a troll using sentiment analysis. Um, and also, probably one of the more interesting use cases is political elections. Um, in recent years, um, elections have become increasingly more technologically sophisticated. And um, sentiment analysis figured pretty prominently in the recent um, presidential election. And um, so as you can see, various um, sentiments. This is the fleeting you know, whims of the, the masses for this one week in 2015. Um, <clears throat> Now, about sentiment. Um, it uses the AFIN data set, which is just a collection of English words, um, each with a valence that has been assigned to it, um, from negative 5 being very negative to positive 5 being very positive. And um, <laughs> so, example, yucky would be negative 2, wonderful would be 4. Um, and in the node module, all it is is a regular um, JavaScript object with, a, with the key being the word and the value being the um, valence. And um, it basically just does some processing and a little bit of math to whatever string you give it. So um, we'll just walk through the algorithm. This is generally what happens um, for most um, sentiment analysis implementations, but specifically for um, <coughs> sentiment, the first step is tokenization. So you're going to want to basically get rid of all of the non-semantic elements in the text. Um, you'll want to remove you know, random you know, um <coughs> special characters. Also stop words, which are typically words that don't have a um, valence to them because they're just not 
that's just not their, they're not adjectives or whatever. They don't really have emotional contents in the English language. Um, after tokenization, you're going to want to do some negation handling. And it's, so if you think about it, it's not so simple as just taking a word and if it's there and it appears, you, um, you apply that valence to the score because if there's a negator preceding it, you know, you might describe some, a product, you know, I don't hate this, you know. So we take into account whether or not um, the word is preceded by a negator. And if that's the case, you flip the, um, the valence. Um, then there's stemming. Um, sentiment actually doesn't do this. But it, there's, there are reasons why you might want to do this. Um, especially if you're actually trying to build a data set um, because what you want to do essentially is just take any words that have um, just reduce words to their uh, roots um, because there's no real difference in valence between disliked and dislike or fantastically and fantastic. Um, Next, um, this is the real juicy part, is that we want to classify the sentiment. So um, what's, what sentiment the node module does is it, um, it kind of sorts a lot of information for us. Um, you tokenize the phrase, and it iterates over it, and um, basically checks it looks up in the AFIN library whether or not the, um, <coughs> the token in question, the word in question, is there. Um, and then it's going to sort it into positive and negative. And it's going to add um, its, its value to the score. Um, pretty straightforward stuff. Um, you might want to do some more fancy stuff if you have machine learning and everything. Um, but that's the gist of it. Um, and here's some examples. So you could say, um, you know, I love this movie. It's one of my favorites. Great stuff. It's going to have a very high valence. A more neutral statement. This restaurant wasn't terrible. It wasn't great either. Just OK. It's a dead ringer neutral statement. And then you can see a very negative statement here. And using this modu module is just simple as importing this function and throwing whatever text you want into it. Um, as it happens, um, Hamlet's to be or not to be soliloquy is very negative. Um, you can see some of the negatives that show up. Um, um, so yeah, if you check, if you, so this is what you eventually get if you log it out. You get this object with all this information. I um, actually don't know what comparative means. I'm assuming it has something to do with statistics. Um, these are all the negative words that appear. These are all the positives. This is the score. These are all the tokens. These are the words that AFIN picked up. And that's about it.